too. What's going on? This preacher. So I'm at the same place, right? They don't have a dock. So I'm at their little parking spot. So then they're going to go. Let me go over here. So then the dude is going to go tell me. He said, well, uh, I got a pallet jack I won't put on your truck. And you pull the stuff to the edge, and I, I come get it off the edge. I said, you want me to do it? He go, yeah, I can't get on your truck. I said, oh, you can't get on the truck. I said, okay, well, uh, hold on a minute, because somebody's going to have to pay me for that. Because that, we call that driver assist. And my rent car didn't tell me nothing about when I booked this load, talked with the broker, ain't say nothing about the driver assist. So, okay, uh, let me make me some phone calls. Cause somebody gonna pay me for that. If I gotta do that, you finna pay. You better believe that. <laughs> you better believe it. Now I do driver assist, but I get paid for it. And I charge 150 bucks. That's what I charge. So even when the broker do that, you say, well, it's driver assist and we gonna play. I say, I don't care what you talking about paying somebody, but I need $150 if I'm gonna do a driver assist, period. Either they take it or they don't. It's one of those type of things. But then you get inside this situation. See how he got the forklift going to the edge of the trailer where it does not say it. And then you get him, they want you to do it. I'm like, well, nah, somebody gonna pay. Basically, that's what it come down to. Somebody paying. I'm, I'm not finna do it. And what they gonna do? Right? What they gonna do? Not play it? I said, oh, so you refusing the product. Okay, you refuse the product. I'll return it. This just was in Georgia, in Atlanta, Georgia. I said, I return it. You, you better believe me. Yes, I return it right back to the shipper. And then they have to pay for the return of the shipper. It is what it is. You know, I mean, it don't make me know, never mind. This Today is Monday. I've started off the week. You know, so they'll pay me the same thing I got paid to bring it down here. They'll pay me the same thing to take it back. And like I told the guy, I was like, hey, I said, if I have to touch it, I get paid for it. I said, I understand what you're saying. You don't want to get inside the trailer. Y'all can't get inside the trailer, whatever. But that don't got nothing to do with me. I said, that's between y'all and the broker. I said, I call the broker and let the broker know, hey, y'all going to have to pay me. Want me to do it. So now I made the phone call to the broker, right? So after I made the phone call to the broker, about 10 minutes, I'm sitting on the edge of the truck. I'm like, yeah, I'm just waiting on the, uh, the broker to call me back. He come back out. Oh, well, I just spoke with the uh, the boss, and the boss said, oh, yeah, we could do it, so we're going to get somebody else to come up inside the trailer, and then they'll do it so you don't have to worry about it. I said, oh, I don't have to worry about it. Oh, okay, no problem. Yeah. I figure when you realize he ain't had a food, but somebody who didn't know what they was doing. I don't know how many times they didn't got this over on some people. Maybe they have gotten over on some people. But I'm taking the rest of today off, okay? Because I need a trailer inspection, I need a truck inspection, and I need a PM done on the truck. The trailer inspection is up due on the 17th of next month. The truck inspection is due in March. But my PM is due now. I'm about 800 miles over on it. But I knew I was coming home. So to, like I said, today is Monday. And uh, on my way home, stopping by the TA to get all this stuff done. Because that's a lot of stuff to do. So I know I couldn't book me a, another load. So I got a book a load coming out of Florida on Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow coming out of Florida. And today... I'm just going to get the uh, inspections and everything done on the trailer, on the truck, and get the PM done on the, uh, the truck, too. So that's what I'm going to do today. Get that stuff. Go home. Whenever that is finished, get a good night's sleep. Then I'll start off again. But, yeah, you made, I, I, I guess I had boo-boo written on my forehead or something. Yeah, I, I don't know. But I'm like, hey, it's no problem. Hey, I put on, I had put on my shoes and stuff. I don't know if y'all can see, but I had put on my shoes because I just had the sandals on. First, I put on my shoes. I was like, hey, no problem. But I'm gonna make me an easy 150 bucks. And then it's only 
12, yeah, it's only 12 pallets. So I was gonna make 150 bucks for 12 pallets. Now this came, like I said, from Atlanta, down here to Melbourne, right? And I got this for uh, 1900 to go from Atlanta down here to, uh, to Melbourne. So for me, you know, that was a win-win. It's like $3 and 20 something cents a mile coming down here. So for me to get paid another 150 bucks, and I was going to have an EFS check written out to me, not the company, to me. So it's going to be in my pocket. I'm like, hey, uh-uh. Ain't no need to get a percentage because I pay 18% of the gross, right? I'm like, uh-uh. I already told my dispatcher, no, they want me to do it. I need an EFS check to me as the lumper. They won't. I can write them a receipt. I got a receipt book if you need a receipt. But you better believe me. I was going to get paid 150 bucks to do this. Or they was going to call somebody else out, calling somebody else out around this here area. No telling how much they was going to be paid. Like I said, I don't got nothing to do today. Y'all know TA is 24 hours. I don't got nothing to do today. And it was 9 o'clock this morning when I got here. Now, like I said, I don't got nothing to do today. Nothing. I already booked my load for tomorrow. It don't pick up at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So I was going to be able to sit here for a long time till they figure it out. But I wasn't going to lift a finger unless I get paid.